Warriors, it is me, Spectre here, and we, today is the 23rd, and those of you who are, who were paying attention, the 23rd is when a bunch of equipment got offloaded for us who had played the 100 matches. There's more equipment to come, but unfortunately that's not coming until later dates. To be honest, um, with the new edition of that, um, with that King Crab mech, I've never even seen something like that before. So I'm really kind of interested to see what it's going to turn out to be. I really kind of hope, I kind of hope that they'll make it available for Seabill purchase, which I'm pretty confident they will do, but probably not going to do it as right away. It's probably going to be a thing of you know it's going to be out here exclusively for such and such people. But I would still like to maybe eventually get one. Depends on how good it is. But um, still waiting on some of the equipment that's going to be coming later on. And the reason why we have Scooter out here is actually because, well, I'm going to change it over to Scrap Metal. And apart from getting a Mech Bay and a 2 million Seabill gain, we also got a new Cockpit item. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that um, right now. And it's a clapping, it's one of those cymbal banging mo monkeys. And... Um, I don't know if I'll ever use this. It's nice, and I guess it is fun on some levels, but I don't totally see me using it. Maybe I'll throw it in one of the videos for you. Or, actually, because it is the 20th, because we are getting the equipment, um, in respect of you guys, I will put it on for this one, and then I'll probably change it. Um, oh yeah. And also I read in an update that the sonic boom and the screeching monkey thing, more horns, were also put up for uh, MC purchase. And now Daishis, or Direwolves, are available for Seabill purchase, which is nice. So you guys can all get out and actually buy a... I'm sorry here, but I think the Daishi is like the best that the clans have come up with. It's personally a favorite. Also, we, also, the new map has finally come out. I've been waiting forever and a day for this, so I really hope, I really hope we actually get to see that tonight. So without further um, ado, I can't really think of anything else I need to say, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in. And I really hope at some point tonight we actually get to see that new map, cause I'm like, I'm super excited, I'm like, I'm like on the verge of vibrating. I'm so excited. I've been waiting forever and a day, and I've been talking about it a lot, and the new map is finally here. And I'm gonna go ahead and be patient all I want because I'm. Okay, we're actually launching. Patience pays off. There you go, people. Okay, so we're starting the night off in River City, my fa a favorite map, but. Like I said, I still want to see the new map. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I've heard that it's mainly designed to have a whole bunch of different skirmishes all around the map. I'm really interested to see how they'll set up Conquest and uh, Assault. I'm kind of wondering how... I'm actually kind of wondering how Assault-friendly it'll be. Because there have been a few maps that aren't very Assault-friendly. I know that Alpine Peaks is, I kind of, I kind of think of it as not assault friendly because there's a lot of mountains and hills and assault mechs don't do very good on hills. You want mediums and lights for that. You know, it's funny, I have a, I was just thinking now, I think that monkey might be a bit of a distraction because of its movement and when I'm in combat, movement tends to set me off. And it's funny because I have an Atlas with a Steiner hologram in it. And actually, I have like a whole bunch of hanging holograms, and none of that ever sets me off. But wait a second, that's red text. Why is there red text? Okay, that's different. Uh, why the red text? That's what I want to know. Okay, well, we're starting... 
we're starting city side. I kind of feel like there's two sides. Of the, like, this side's the city side, and then over there's the harbor side, because you got the cranes, and you got the ships, and the cargo crates. But back to what I was saying is, I have, I have a number of hanging items. A target acquired. I have a number of hanging items, and, um, holo well, okay, I've got one hologram, and I even got my warhorn, and there's, the texts are different, I mean, am I seeing things, or is that different? I'm getting distracted. It's funny, I'm being more distracted by the text than what I'm actually trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that I think the monkey's going to be a distraction, even though I have all these other cockpit items that are bouncing and banging around in my mech, and... I'm concerned about the monkey being a distraction. It took me forever and a day to feckin' say that. Or to freaking say that, excuse me. Well, I don't know. You guys decide. You okay with me saying feck, or would you rather me just... Or would you rather me censor that, too? We got a lot of mechs on the other side of the river. Normally, we're all huddled up city side, but hey. What do you expect out of us city boys, huh? You know, if Go... Here's something here. I have often talked about Ghost Robo a lot in some of my videos. And I'm going to go ahead and say this again. If Ghost Robo... If you out there... Okay, well, of course he's out there, but... Uh, okay. Let me try this in plain English, because I hear that usually works out well. If... Ghost Robo ever joins Mech War the Mech Warrior universe, I so want him on my team. I will, I mean, it's freaking Ghost Robo. He excels at, like, every game he plays. Even, I mean, look at his work in Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, sure, he only got to night two, but so what? I don't care. He's awesome at every game he plays. And anyone who questions that is, like, I find, I reject your reality and substitute my own. And this was kind of a bad idea, because now I'm really kind of getting hammered. And I'm gonna go ahead and fall because I'm just, okay, well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do what's called dying with dignity, which is basically turning your enemy, firing until you die. Yeah, there you go. It's funny, some guy actually shouted out my name. That's really weird. I mean, how do you distinguish? Okay, well, I mean, I can distinguish, but maybe that's team chat. I don't know. We'll try. Maybe it's Lance chat. I've got no idea. It's so. Maybe Red's your enemy. Oh wait, no, that says all. They're talking. Okay, so yeah, I sent that to all. Better luck next game, guys. Yeah. Oh wow. I didn't even realize how bad of a butt kicking we got. Jeez. That was cool that some guy actually me. I don't know, I kinda get a good feeling when someone recognizes me, when someone acknowledges that I'm in the game. No, it's not DC. It's funny because they say DC and it takes me a second to uh, figure it out. That's so weird how they change the text. That's. I have no idea. Target acquired. Warning. Critical damage. Incoming. First match of the night is um definitely not our best match, but it's definitely not the worst match I've ever played. I've I have played far worse matches than this. Yeah. That's weird. That's going to take some time to figure out.
that's just so weird. You know, maybe that is. I mean, maybe the red text is supposed to be because it's an all chat. Maybe red's your enemy talking to you. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm totally psychotic or something. Um, I had talked about some talk about, but I forgot. I'm definitely looking into. I'm not looking into. I'm definitely looking forward to the new mechs to come. I will probably get a vulture. Probably won't buy it because um, I can't afford a Masakari. And I definitely cannot afford a Masakari plus a over a Man of War. So I'm going to probably wait till it comes because it's not that important. <laughs> One little uh, nick that I do have is that I actually looked at the variant at the um maybe it's because I haven't looked too closely at it or something but to me I'm gonna go ahead and say it like this because I can't be sure but it looks like the vultures because if you look at the vultures from uh, Mech Warrior 4 they actually have a chin turret and it doesn't look like uh, in the game they had that chin turret and I hope they add that in because that was that's something apart from the overall design and the fact that it has two missile pods on its shoulders um, I'm really, I think that, um, I would really like to see it because the chin turret was kind of a thing that no other mech had to my acknowledgement. That was just something different. And the cool thing was is that that gun could be independently shot off. Like if you had, you had two medium lasers there, you could shoot those off and then they'd be gone. That was something I think that was pretty unique. Yeah. Terra Therma most definitely has to be my least favorite map of all of them. But yeah, I'll be interested to see how... I kind of think... Yeah, because... Sorry, change it for a second. I mean, you've got red... You've got... You have the blue text, and then that's all. And then you have the red text, and that's also all. So I'm thinking the colors to distinguish who your top whose enemy yeah it's it's an IFF it's an enemy and friendly type thing okay well it's not really like an IFF but you guys I think you guys get what I'm saying you know just thinking about it now I think I kind of think that the um <laughs> the vulture is a lighter version I don't know, I think Vulture's a heavy. I think she is. I think that the Vulture is a better version of the Catapult. Because the Catapult, the catapult has no defensive system. It's a straightforward attack. You can't do much anything with it. Because if you lose those missile pods, you're screwed. But with a Vulture, I mean, you can fit probably two LRM-15s, maybe a 20, and have, like, two large lasers in the arms, and if it had that chin turret, you could fit one medium laser. Okay, so yeah, it does... Sorry, I'm just, I'm reading. I want to play that new map so bad. I hope at least one... I really hope that... Um, it's a night map, no doubt. Sorry. I really hope that we get to play that for... Ah, shoot. I really hope that we get to see that night map. Target 
I gotta stop reading this for a second. I really hope we get to see that night map. Maybe there's a, the factory. Maybe it'll be something as we'll see it like right at the end. It'll be like the last match we play. What the heck are you shooting at? There's nothing there. Oh, okay, there's something. Looks like there's a bit of activity up ahead. I'm gonna see if I can't help. I kind of like, one thing I do like about, excuse me, oh, and again, one of the things I like about, I do like about Terra, or Toraline Desert, is the fact, <gasps> oh god, is the fact that there are just random mech body parts scattered all over the freaking place. I think that's kind of a cool aesthetic. I think that is kind of a cool aesthetic. I'll blow off your arms. I'll blow off your arms and I'll bite off your ankles. Ow. Okay, up until that happens. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're all big and tough. We're all big and tough up until we get an AC shell to the face. Then we're all weak. Yeah, I've heard the story a hundred and one times. But hey, I'm kind of a weak mech right now. And no, I'm not using that to complain. I'm seriously saying that I'm actually a bit of a weak mech. Because I don't have my main g Ow! Wait a minute, we have a mech in the back nine. It's an awesome. I have got to get me an awesome. Why is it that my only good gun has to jam all the time? And who's shooting me in the... No. Uh, Target destroyed. New target acquired. SRM ammo depleted. Warning incoming missile. It's an LRM-5. I'm not too afraid of it. Give me a really good shot at him. Send an AC-5 shell to his cockpit. Kaboom. You know, I've been talking a lot about changing my ring, my text alert ringtone. Maybe I'll change it to uh, black, the zombies. Uh, kaboom. Because that's the, I mean, think about it. You hear that kaboom. I think that'd be fun. Acquired. Whether or not you guys think that'd be fun, well, I don't really care. It's my phone. What the heck? That's a vulture. Okay, I didn't expect to see the vulture this early. Holy snap. Why is he running? That vulture could easily take me down. Okay, well, it's a vulture, but still, I mean, vulture, I mean, that thing could seriously put up a fight. Why is he running? Oh, boom! That's a sneak kill. Probably gonna die because some mech is shooting. Yep, there we go. Man, I was on that. Wow. Oh, that's right. The vulture did drop today. I was back in my brain. It's like a vulture. I didn't expect to see him this early, but I'm not thinking straight.
Yeah, they got, um... Yeah, the Vulture, the new mechs dropped today. Oh, okay, so you guys got to see the, um... You guys got to see me chase down a Vulture. Still, that Jenner kill was sweet. I wasn't sure I was going to get him. Awesome is awesome. That one I'll give you. I couldn't probably tell any of the other mechs. I kind of wonder if we're going to see Hellhounds and Hell Spawns. I'd actually like this. I hope they don't. I really hope they keep the aesthetics of the Argus. Because the Argus is... If you guys don't remember an Argus, then you guys have never seen one. Because an Argus is not a mech you can easily forget. Something... I couldn't forget an Argus even if I tried. You know, let me know in the comments section what you guys think is the best mech for breaching. So I was just thinking about it. Um, if you, when you're in conquest, you need to get into those points and you need to capture them. But what mech do you think would be the best mech for running in and capturing? Let me know in the comments section. It was cool to see the vulture though it's really interesting how they have the um how they have faction related items to uh, the second drop i think that's pretty cool i would get a second drop if i could but i'd only get a vulture because i don't know i want the vulture but i mean i wish they'd just let you buy the vulture because i don't think i could actually get a um I would no, it's not, not that I want that. It's not that. Um, let me start over. I don't want any of the other mechs. I mean, maybe a Man of War would be fun, but the other mechs I don't want. I'd want the Vulture and Reactive. boom, online. that's it. Sensors online. I don't know why. I just I like the Vulture. I never really drove one much, but I would buy one here and drive it. But I want to get an awesome. The reason why I haven't spent any sea bills is because I'm trying oh so hard am I trying to get radar deprivation and I need a lot of sea bills for that because I think it's like a six thousand or six million sea bill upgrade per and that's a lot of sea bills I mean I've got 20 million right now but I don't even know if that'll be enough to get it for all my mechs I'm gonna at least get the important ones done first like my atlases and daishis. And then once I get my atlases and daishis upgraded, I'm going to try and get that for the rest of my mechs, and then I'll try putting money into a new mech. I probably will... What a sunny day? <laughs> I guess. I probably will try and get... Um... Ow, ow. Okay, that was not cool. I think I got hit with a PPC. Oh no, I wasn't looking, and that's a terribly... Ah, okay. Terra Therma. Terra Therma is not a sunny map. Torling Desert is with two freaking suns. Okay, I'm not going to go that way. Even though my mech seems gravitated towards there, I'm not going to go that way. Okay, I'm just going to go after stragglers. Target acquired. Warning. Oh, well, 
of the vulture. The name Mad Dog just seems kind of wrong to me because it's not a mad dog. It's always been. I mean, I've known this. Excuse me, I'm gonna go forward. I've known him as vultures. So to see him be called Mad Dogs, it's kind of wrong. It was really, it kind of threw me off a lot because when I first found out that the clan mechs were dropping, I was really excited to get a Daishi and found out that they were calling him Dire Wolves. And Target acquired. A Dire Wolf is actually the Inner Sphere name, or no. Oh god, I always get this wrong. Okay, enough with the freaking cannon fodder. F fodder? Cannon fodder? Where did that come from? Where did this cannon fodder? Should I just eject right now? I mean, freaking hell. Leave, leave me alone. I'm just a poor mech warrior. I'm so poor, I don't have any money. Hey, we got a mad dog on our team. I wonder if they will bring an MRM some. Okay, uh, let me think here. So. The reason why the mech's names are different, for those of you who don't know, it's actually because, if I'm remembering this correctly, and please don't, please don't, like, get all upset if I get it wrong, because I'm trying my best to remember this. I'm trying my best to remember Major Sponge. Ah, oh, I'm trying to remember this, but I believe the things like like dire wolves and mad cats were the clan names. Those were the clan names, and the inner sphere called them daishis and vultures and massacaris and all that. So I think that's why the names are different. Um, don't hold me to it too much, but I think that's the reason. Oh, very big, very big. I don't think we're seeing that vulture again. But yeah, I mean, yeah. New target acquired. Kill assist. I'm actually pretty cool with getting assist now. I used to get really bent out of shape about it, but now uh, I'm cool with it. It doesn't bother me much. acquired. We got some guy popping an ECM. <sighs> ECMs. I never thought I would see the day where I actually saw ECMs to be useful. Because I just, in mercenaries, I never used them. I never saw a point for them. Oh, it's an Atlas. Go figure, it's a DDC. I'm not going to make this. Had him, that dire wolf hadn't showed up. Oh well. I don't know. When I first started out, getting assists used to really get me upset, but now I'm not. I'm not too upset about it. It's kind of weird because normally. It kind of seems different because normally I'd get really bent out of shape about the fact that we're losing and I'm in a horrid neck, but I'm actually pretty cool with it. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm, maybe it's because I got a two million dollar paycheck. Look at that, I mean, I like, I'm glad they kept the vulture to its standard design. I'm really glad they kept that because some of the mechs, I mean, Okay, I can't really name any off the top of my head. Um, but the Massacari looks pretty similar, I think. I don't know, I haven't looked at the Massacari in a while. But I think it looks pretty much the same. Oh, uh, the Ryokan. I don't like the way the Ry Ryokans look. Ryokan looks because every time I think of a Ryokan, I think of one of those um, trailers that goes in the bed of those pickup trucks. You know, the ones that have that overhang that go above the cab. I always think of that, and it just, the Ryokans here don't, doesn't, it doesn't look like that. And I don't know, it kind of bothers me. The Olers, I mean, I look at them and I think of an Oler. 
but the adder, the, oh, okay, well, the adder, I actually agree, it looks pretty much like a puma, so I'm not going to argue there, I'm happy with that. Um, there's like another light mech I get, I get bent out of shape for, I forget what it's called. It's like the head, it looks like a, it looks like a medium, at least to me it looks like a medium, but I know it's not. Um, I forget what it's called. I forget what it's supposed to be, too. You know, I like to see where the Cougar is, because the Cougar was a really good light mech. A Nova cat. A Nova, that's right, it was a Nova. I don't really know what a Nova's supposed to be. Nova and Kit Fox. Or is the Kit Fox supposed to be the Oler? Am I even remembering these correctly? I don't even know. I'd, I'd have to stare. I'd have to look at them. I think maybe a Kit Fox is supposed to be a rail. No. Okay, so the Nova. I think the Nova is supposed to be the uh, Ryokan. And the Mad Cat. I like the way the Mad Cat's turned out. I would say that... I'm sorry, I can't help it. It... Okay, well, I can't help it. I just choose not to. Target acquired. I think that's really a lot of cases. Everyone can help it, they just choose not to. Sorry if you're smacking the mic like that. But a Dire Wolf, I believe, is a very good mech. You can pack a lot of different guns on it. It's a very tough mech to beat down, and honestly, it can hold its own. I mean, Dire Wolves are more than dangerous. They're all forced to be reckoned with. I mean, come on, they were the, in they were the clan's answer to the atlas acquired. in its most basic form the dire wolf is the is the atlas of the clans new target acquired i wonder if they're going to add fafners yeah i think the nova cats because it does kind of look a little bit like a ryokan but not a whole lot but fafners they were slow mechs sure enough no doubting that Oh, great. I'm getting picked on by a commando. You're mean. You go hide in a hole. Because you're mean. Um, but a Fafner, even though they were slow moving mechs, they were actually. Ah, blackjacks. I hate blackjacks. Oh, well, this isn't good. I'm about to get massively jock marked by this. Uh, it's not oh, great. It's a dire wolf. Warning incoming missile. Hey, 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 hey. Ow. Okay, not so funny. Heat sink destroyed. Uh, this match is going south. I'm gonna go. This is pretty stupid. Target I kind of got myself in a bad position because those mechs up there, if I move out, then I'm gonna get thumped. I find it incredibly stupid how. That's something I would actually like to see because AMS systems firing. Ow! Catch me while I'm monologuing. Well, might as well die with dignity. Well, I did some damage to that dire wolf. That match is actually a little bit better in our shape. Oh, whoops. Okay, I'm not thinking straight again. I don't remember if I finished my thought about the Fafner. But the Fafner, even though she was slow, and I felt she wasn't much of a heavy hitter, but she's actually kind of dangerous. 
dangerous. Ow! If any of you have seen Red Dwarf, then you will know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then I just made myself a complete idiot on the airwaves. I wonder if they're gonna add long toms in here too. No, maybe the Nova Kid. No, oh god. I wonder if they're gonna add Nova Cats. I'm gonna think that if some if they do add Nova Cats, they're gonna be like a huge craze up until people actually start using them. Why are you looking down? Oh, that's a lot of mechs. You got owned. Anyways, um, let me think. Long toms are basically like having a howitzer on your mech. Uh, I don't know. I guess they were a good weapon. I didn't really use them much. No, wait. I was talking about the Nova Cat. Fuel at twenty-five percent. Okay, I, I'd actually like to use jump jets to get up here because I think it, it looks kind of cool. It's kind of an uncharted territory. Not very many people actually get up here. Only really lights. I don't see mediums or assaults or heck even a Highlander get up here. But. Take it from someone who has experience with mechs, Nova Cats, I have to say, are one of the worst mechs, and the sad thing is, that it was a clan mech. And that's really kind of just, what were you thinking? Because the clans were supposed to be Fuel really at only... Fuel at zero percent. Ow, that looks like it hurt. In more ways than one, clans are bet. In some ways... Clans are better than Inner Sphere, but I feel like New target acquired. I kind of feel like the clans took a lesson in mech creation from the Inner Sphere the when they built acquired. the Nova Cat. Because the Nova Cat is nothing but energy, and that thing has a reputation for overheating. I mean, in Mercenaries, even though I play on the regular difficulty, because I don't know, I just do. Never bothered to change it. I have seen that thing overheat way too many times. It does not have the weapon it does not have the weapons to it does not have the weapons to cooling ratio needed to combat it. Fuel at twenty five percent. Fuel at zero percent. Hey, there's my body. Okay, well, my mech. I was actually talking with one of my guy, uh, one of my other buddies the other day, and we were talking about a while back. I had suggested, you know, what happens if the pilot, yeah, the pilot guy in the mech, and we got to talking, and I asked him what he thought, and he says, I think he dies too. I don't know, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. It's up for you guys to, to decide though.
get two assists from that. Well, that was a pretty brutal match. Okay. Um, I think this is last match. I don't remember. I lost count. C4. I still think it's funny. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Just checking weapons. I don't know why. Just thought random weapons check. Blackjacks. I've grown to hate blackjacks because of that stupid. It's like every single blackjack you see always has ultra ACs on it. That's like their signature weapon is ultra ACs. There's a blackjack. 9.99.99 times out of 10, it has ultra ACs. I'm like not even joking. Every single blackjack I've run into has had ultra ACs. And I actually want to, I actually wonder, will Target they ever acquired. actually, and, wow, a jester. Holy crud, I haven't seen a jester in a long time. Jester, jester, a jester. I haven't seen one of those guys in a long time. What's this guy want? You're gonna ask them to remove a mech from the game? I don't think so. Sure, I hate, I mean, <laughs> any mech warrior, okay, well, anyone who's watched my channel knows that I despise, I don't know what I'm supposed to, but I hate light mechs. They irritate me to death, but I'm not going to request they be removed. I mean, come on, how many mechs do I diss on? How many weapons and variants do I diss on? It's just like saying, it's just like, you know, saying you hate somebody when you're angry. Or, you know, calling your best friend an idiot. You don't mean it, you're just saying it. And being shot. Warning, incoming. Missile. Okay, we get it. You have missiles. You can stop now. Though I do hate many a mechs and weapons, I will never ask for a mech or a weapon to be removed from a game. 
because even though I don't like it, a good mech warrior can just tough it out. Not every battlefield is going to be optimized for you to win. That's something you just got to get used to. Enemy target acquired. I don't think I'm going to get this guy. He's moving way too fast. But I might get lucky. Target destroyed. Ah, oh, you. Incoming I would have had him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Target Grr. Grr. Incoming missile. Oh God, not again. Oh yeah, now you running. Blackjacks. I might make Mech of the Month a blackjack just because I hate him so much. Would somebody like to get that spider off me? Evidently not. You know what they say, die with dignity or die with nothing? Who says that? I don't know. Yeah, I saw that one coming. If I had lost my machine guns, I'd actually be pretty good. I'm sorry, but I'm a ballistics guy. Target acquired. Not too much into missiles, not too much into energy, but ballistics are my favorite. Enemy target acquired. Gauss rifles and LBXs are what I like the most. I am not a big fan of it. I'm not a big acquired. fan of ACs, ultra ACs. I mean, not a huge fan of ACs, but I'll acquired. still use them. Not too big of a fan of. Not a acquired. real big fan of Ultra ACs. And definitely not a fan of machine guns. But something that's always kind of. I've wondered is. Is anyone ever going to. Oh. Target destroyed. Oh, excuse me. Enemy target acquired. Are they ever going to animate the Ultra AC? Because if you look at an Ultra AC, it's a barrel. I mean, it, it looks like a minigun. So I kind of wonder, are they going to animate it spinning? Or if they're just going to leave it as is? I just kind of wonder. Ooh, oh, you almost got Almost did mech food. Ultra auto cannon ammo depleted. Mech arm critical damage. You are red. Target quite destroyed. Literally. Heat level critical. Now that's how it's done. That right there. Another one for the. Uh, sorry, 
There's another one for the textbooks, but I don't think that's right. Okay, I'm feeling generous, so if this is episode 5, or if not, if this is uh, match 5 or not, I don't know, but either way, um, I'm giving you guys one more, so if this is, so if this turns out to be match 6, then hey, it's a bonus episode, if not, then screw it, it's still a bonus episode, and if you guys would like to argue this episode, then feel free to, but... I don't think you're going to get much of an argument out of me. I was thinking to myself the other day that, thinking to myself the other day, like, there's something I was going to have to put in my mech. That's almost all clanners. I think the centurion is the only thing out there that's not clan. We wanted to have we wanted to be nice. Us, us big shot clanners just well we decided we'd be nice if we hired on a inner sphere mech. We don't really know whose idea it was. It certainly wasn't mine, but I just thought that we'd invite them in. I don't know. Things have been so... primitive since we got here. You know, here's another thing. Here's something else to write in the, clan, in the comment section. If you ran into a clan mech pilot... Okay, let me set the mood for you. If you were in, if you were on Solaris 7, and you were at Downtown Cafe, which I assume is a place, I'm gathering that from the information that I've, I'm basing that off the information that I've gotten from playing the game. The police vindicator I'll probably actually get, because that's really kind of funny. <laughs> you know, uh, police, put your hands up. <laughs> Mech warrior style. No, um, but you're in Downtown Cafe, and you run into any clan, any clan pilot, what would you do? How would you react to the situation? Would you be, would you try to be buddies with him? Would you start a fight? Would you, like, move to a different table? What would you do if you ran into a clan mech pilot out of his mech? Let me know down in the comments section. Or email me. You guys can do that. And, you know, it's really... New target I have no idea if this is the case, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there because I'm crazy. But, if you guys out there... You know, don't be a... I'm one of those people that really doesn't comment or send messages unless I find something worth talking about because I don't really see it. Maybe that's how you guys are too. 
but you know, I don't mind answering questions or talking with you guys. I think it's pretty fun. I mean, the, new target the 48, <laughs> the 48, no, I'm thinking of the wrong channel. But my point being is, the few fans that I do have, you know, I'd like you guys to, you know, go ahead, ask questions, be friendly. You can pretty much ask me anything. I don't really, I mean, there's a few things that I won't talk about because, um, well, some things are just not, some things you guys don't need to know, and I think you all can be good. I think y'all can be respective of that. But most of the time, you got a question? Heck, I'll answer it. I ain't got... I'll answer it. Something, something that I'm noticing with the clan mechs is that they all seem to have the basic default paint. You got the brown and whatever that looks like gray mixed with turquoise. Maybe? I don't know. I'm bad with colors. This is how you climb a mountain when you don't have super awesome engine of air. En of ng-ness. It's probably the worst pun ever. Cheater. Who do I want to pick on? Oh, Blackjack. New target acquired. Nope, I've been seen. You attack me? And I smash thy face into thy ground. Ugh. Why did I say that? Oh, am I gonna make it? I'm gonna make it! How does a mech commit suicide? He climbs to the top of a very big ice rock and then he jumps. Okay, well I thought that was a good idea, but turns out it wasn't. New target acquired. I'm sure someone out there is screaming, no, duh! Those stupid missiles hadn't come raining down on me. Probably could have got another component destruction on him. That time I actually wasn't aiming to kill, I was aiming to destroy components. Don't know why I decided to switch targets. Okay, not switch targets, switch targeting parameters. Go figure. New target acquired. At twenty five percent. New target acquired. Warning incoming missile. Oh, here's the enemy. Be 
loss, but I think those are pretty good matches. And you have no gun. You're gonna die. Well, I guess you could call this episode pretty good. I don't know. To be honest, I really feel like taking... I really feel like the most dangerous place to be is underneath the mech. Because you're shooting upward, you're gonna hit the CT. Seems... I mean, taking the high ground, you're attacking downward. Call me crazy, but that just doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Well, until next time, Mech Warriors, I'm YouTube. You know, for a long time I've always thought about screwing that up on purpose, and now I actually did it on accident. <laughs> I'm Spectre, and you're YouTube, and I will see you on the battlefield. Good night, everyone.